the fundamental dreams like the basics of living things living what do you need for living okay i need the food fundamental correct the humanity like food and a good house and a good environment and if you have children the good life to the children these are the basic fundamental things what any every human or a family likes or want to have it so it depends on slightly more than that this is what uh, of course the uh, the fundamental of uh, human needs the primitive what you are learning in times of actualization once you felt yourself satisfied then you go beyond a little bit more than that look at more than that here as you said about i need a boat that's american dream correct every americans want to have a boat of course that's not certainly the dream for indians because it's not it's a kind of very luxurious item fine rather than boat i want to put that money in the bank for my next generation <laughs> that is the dream for the american dream the savings is a dream mostly so once you have satisfied some level of living then the next level is going to be more savings to whom to the next generation that is the thought of most of the people in india mm. with this i end thank you thank you bye clap Chris, topic for you. Going along with the same thing about success. I think April is going to connect table. Right? She is. She is. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. I'm just doing a little preliminary, okay. just so we can, you know, is basically how you get this group. You talk when it's your turn to talk. You listen when you're turn to listen. But if you want to advance your time frame, you know, to, to getting the confidence in public speaking, you need stage time. And stage time is being up here, you know, at the lecture and podium, whatever you want to call it, and that's basically that's basically the bottom line. So what I'm trying to do is just give everybody more stage time. I mean, we can sit around and talk, but really you need to be up here to get stage time. Okay. So I thought there might be a few more people. I know when the speakers speak, it's good to have a larger audience, and we got plenty of time because this small group. So let's mm -hmm. just do a little, couple more table topics before we get started, and then we'll you know get back into our regular meeting. Chris. On the same theme, some people feel that those who win at the game of life collect the most houses, boats, cars, toys. Others say that those that touch the most people with <clears throat> love or kindness, they are the ones that win at the game of life. What do you feel? Hi. Hi. That works. Clear. Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> I know, here I am trying to walk up here, trying to make sure I remember be on topic and everything, and then they're trying to talk, stop me with the egg timer. <laughs> I actually agree with the former, that the ones who really succeed at life are the ones that touch the most hearts, the ones that are, that ha find happiness within themselves rather than through the, the materials that they purchase and own. And it's all about, it doesn't matter how much money you accumulate, it doesn't matter how much homes you buy, that is not going to truly make you happy. Truly making you happy will be being in love with your wife, having your kids that will, obviously kids laughter is insane. I watch YouTube videos where all you do is just see them giggling uncontrollably just because paper was ripped. And it... Just hearing that and being around that makes you feel better about yourself. And especially if you're the one that procured that kid, I'm guessing, too. <laughs> and <clears throat> it's all about achieving what, what's after this life. Even if you, if you believe in a God or if you have any essence of an afterlife, you understand that it's not going to make a difference how many stuff you own, how much boats you have, how many houses you own how many times you travel to Aruba every year. What matters is how you lived your life and how you affected the people around you. And that's all I can really say about it. Oh, that's very well said. I don't know, I wasn't, you know. <laughs> That's very well said, thank you, Chris. That's true, you really can't take you know, all, your, all the material things